Howdy folks and welcome back to Do and Brew and another Do and Brew short. I was surprised at how little information there was online and at YouTube on how to do the very simple task of installing a toilet water supply line. And this toilet water supply line is just part of one small job building out a powder room in this beautiful 1820s brick farmhouse that we're in the middle of restoring. So if you want to watch the complete renovation of this house, make sure you subscribe to Doin' Brew. Let's get on with installing our toilet water supply line. Now there's really only one measurement you need to be aware of. Eight inches from the center line of your toilet and eight inches up from your finished floor. I'm gonna install my water supply line at 10 inches to accommodate the radiant floor heating and tile that I'm going to install in this bathroom. I'm going to be using a shark bite push to connect fitting. This is a half inch to half inch drop ear elbow. Now this is exactly the right fitting for this job in that the ears that stick out from the back of this fitting to accommodate two screws that attach to a structural member in the wall. I'm just putting a scrap piece of the pecs that I'll be using on my elbow to give me a gauge as to where I need to drill my hole through the floor which will go down into the basement where my water supply lines run. Next up, I'm going to set my drill up with a three-quarter inch spade bit. Yeah, this is actually 11 sixteenths. I couldn't find my three-quarter inch bit. And I'm going to drill my hole to allow my pipe to run through the base plate and the floor down into the basement. Now I'll measure out approximately five feet of the PEX blue water supply line that I'll be using. And it cuts very easily with a PVC pipe cutter. And as I mentioned before, the shark bite fitting that I'm using is just a push to connect. There's no adhesives to use, no pipes to sweat. These are really a great product for the do-it-yourselfer. Next up, I'm just going to insert my pipe into the hole, which goes down into the basement and make sure that everything is gonna fit right where I need it. I'll raise my elbow up to 10 inches and screw it into place with a couple of screws. And the last thing I have to do is cut out a small section of half inch copper pipe. This will push to connect into the elbow as well. And I'll cut this at about three inches out from the stud wall, which will give me a good solid two and a half inches out from my finished drywall, which will give me plenty of room to work with to attach a quarter turn ball valve with a compression fitting that will be the on off valve for my toilet water supply. I'm gonna put an end cap on this short section of copper. That's temporary. I'm putting it on for two reasons. It'll keep bugs and dust out of my new water line, plus it provides a comfortable push point to make the final connection here with this push to connect fitting. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just need a few pieces and parts and a couple of special tools. But if you're doing a lot of plumbing work in your house, it's well worth the money considering how much it will cost to have a plumber do something as simple as this. Hey, appreciate you watching this video, folks. Hope you subscribe to Doing Brew so you can watch the complete renovation of the old farmhouse which is a project that will be posted on YouTube here in just a couple of weeks. Hey, if you have any questions about this plumbing project or any others, leave it in the comments or send me an email at doingbrew at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for watching this video, folks. Hope to see you back here next time on Doing Brew. Take care.